Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, about a week ago, I put up a video called Police Misconduct. I talked about some contributing factors and some ideas about what to do to abate it. There was one thing I didn't think about. The hiring process. In 2010, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department took over the duties of uh, the Los Angeles County Police Department, a little-known agency uh, that was eliminated to, to save money. So the Sheriff's Department then needed to hire some more people to handle their expanded duties. So from 2010 to now, they hired about 280 people. 188 of those people had reject, been rejected by other law enforcement agencies. 97 showed evidence of dishonesty on their polygraph tests, which were part of their, the employment process. 92 had been disciplined by other law enforcement agencies for serious misconduct while on duty. 29 had been fired or forced to resign from other law enforcement agencies. And 15 were flagged for trying to manipulate the lie detector test. Now, since then, several of these hirees have been accused of wrongdoing. One was fired after shooting his gun during a dispute outside a restaurant. One, there was one 28-year-old who was hired even after he admitted that he had had a relationship with a 14-year-old girl. He had also been fired from another agency for using excessive force on prisoners. He was then assigned to the, to the jails. I mean, how many red flags do you need? Others had been charged with crimes but not convicted, including one who had been arrested for assault with intent to commit murder and rape. One deputy hired from the county police force had been arrested for soliciting a prostitute minutes after he <laughs> went off duty. She happened, turned out to be a undercover cop. Thirty other hirees had convictions for DUI, battery, and other crimes. Fifty disclosed in their background interviews incidents of petty theft, soliciting prostitutes, and domestic violence. One disclosed that he had molested children when he was a teenager. A female hiree revealed that she had shot at her husband with her service revolver during a dispute. Now, it could be that the LA Sheriff's Department is an anomaly, but I don't know based on all the incidents of police misconduct that have occurred all across the country over the past few years, maybe we need to do a full-out general investigation of the hiring practices of all law enforcement agencies. I mean, you can do all the training you want. You can do all the mentoring you want. But if you hire a bad guy, it's not going to make a difference. Now the Sheriff's Department response to these revelations was to start a criminal investigation to find out who leaked the information. And they also uh, tried to prevent 
this information from being made public. And uh, it's no wonder. These aren't people that you would hire to enforce the law. They're people you would recruit for a gang. Thanks for listening.